Good morning, well, noon. Good noonish, everybody. Uh, it's Friday at uh, noon, and um, I'm going to be sharing with Ellie from now on the uh, Friday prayer services to give uh, Warner a bit of a break. So this week it's my turn, and uh, so um, I'm going to read you first um, a section from Romans 8 that I really like. Uh, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus, who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword or even COVID, I would add, none of these things can separate us from God's love. For I'm convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Uh, that was in Romans 8 from uh, verse 31, by the way. Uh, and I'd like to read you some of the lyrics from one of my favorite songs. It's called, God of Angel Armies, Whom Shall I Fear? And I believe it took its... Uh, inspiration from this Romans chapter plus another uh, one of the Psalms speaks uh, similar wording. So <clears throat> the lyrics go like this, well part of them. You hear me when I call, you are my morning song. Though darkness fills the night, it cannot hide the light. Whom shall I fear? You, O oh God, crush the enemy who's underneath my feet. You are my sword and shield though troubles linger still. Whom shall I fear? I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind. The God of angel armies is always by my side. The one who reigns forever, he is a friend of mine. The God of angel armies is always by my side. My strength is in your name, for you alone can save. You will deliver me, O God. Yours is the victory. Whom shall I fear? Nothing formed against me shall stand. You hold my whole world in your hands. I'm holding on to all of your promises. You are faithful. You are faithful. I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind. The God of angel armies is always by my side. The one who reigns forever, he is a friend of mine. The God of angel armies is always by my side. One of our favorite hymns that we like to sing is called Walk With Me. And it's a mix of our prayer to God and God responding to us. So our prayer to God is, walk with me. I will walk with you and build the land that God has planned where love shines through. And God's answer and when you share your faith with me and work for life made new, the witness of your faithfulness calls me to walk with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, how precious to know that you are our God. Lord, we want to know you more and to love you better. It is the yearning of our hearts to know more of you and to grow closer to you with each passing day. As we read your word and study the scriptures, we pray that you would help us to embrace all that you would teach us. We ask that you would develop in us a teachable spirit, which is quick to hear your voice speaking and ready and willing to respond to the gentle promptings of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Dear Lord, please walk with us through this challenging time. Show us how you want us to respond and give us the strength to do that. Amen. 
I'm going to, if you want to stick around, I'm going to play you a song, uh, one of my original compositions that I wrote after a particularly trying time and the pain was gone and there was only joy and uh, I was particularly grateful at the time and I wrote this song and it's called One Soul Soaring. So I wish for you that kind of a day. Bye for now. God bless.